guys, welcome to another chemo show. Um, today we are going to take you where are we taking a baby? Bankhead, now <laughs> we're going to Buckhead, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to Buckhead. Stay we're going tuned. to Buckhead. Let's get it. Let's get it. stores in there there's Versace Tiffany and Company Tom Ford and it is literally almost across the street from Lennox so here is Lennox Square Mall I know a lot of people come to Atlanta to go to Lennox Mall it's the water boys right there there's the water boy boys that are all over Atlanta <laughs> selling you a bottle of water at any cost <laughs> Alright, and so there's Lennox across the street. Here's a good uh, picture of the sign. Lennox Square Mall. Alright, so we're still by Lennox here. And then over here, when we used to visit a lot, um, we used to love to stay at this Westin that's right there by the mall. There's also a, um, what, JW Marriott? That's over here. I can actually get it. Right. That actually, big tall building behind the behind Lennox Mall is that JW Marriott? Yeah. No, that's that, that's it. It's connected. It's connected yeah. to that. Okay, and so you can actually stay there and walk directly into the mall without having to go outside. So um, I'm gonna go through Lennox here, and as you can see, there is the Cheesecake Factory. Linux stays busy, man, all the time. Always. <laughs> so we enjoy coming to the Cheesecake Factory quite a bit, wouldn't you say, babe? Yeah. The miso salmon. The miso salmon is slamming. There's a Nike store. Oh, they're not even gonna let the pedestrians cross. <laughs> I guess because so many people have to cross, you gotta go when you can go. Yeah. This is the front of Linux, it's where you can have um, your car valeted if you don't want to worry about parking and everything. They do offer a valet service up here. Here's another um, good restaurant that's at the end of the mall right here, True Foods. I have some good um, healthy selections there. True Foods Kitchen. I don't remember seeing that Dantana's Keon. You ever saw that before? I don't know what that is. Looks like a cigar. No, that's called Buckhead Cigar. That must be a separate thing. But anyway, that is Lennox Mall, guys. Surf and Turf Restaurant. Surf and Turf Restaurant. Oh, okay. That's what that is. That's another restaurant there. So that is the famous Lennox Square Mall. That's the Westin that I was referring to over here. I really like this hotel. It's very nice. Wouldn't you say, babe? Yeah, it's nice. Nice hotel if you want to 
come to Atlanta and still be close to like the mall and pretty much the downtown in the city. Yeah, but you're going to spend though. In the West. Yeah, it's costly, but yeah. it's worth it. Definitely. It's a good location. Yeah. Look at this view. I love the way this looks at night, of course, with all the lights and everything. Really pretty buildings. Good restaurants around here, oh, too. Oh, yeah. Uh, Maggiato's, I, we just passed it. I missed it. And Ruth's Chris. Ruth's Chris. I mean, these are going to be some of your good restaurants. Here's another one. South, South Kitchen. South City, South kitchen. City kitchen. I'm going to take this off because it's tricky. All right, guys, so we are just going to take you on a ride through the Buckhead area. So like we just mentioned, we just passed um, a lot of good restaurants. Looks like there is, uh, that's Intercontinental. They have a little bar right there. There's Ruth Chris, one of my favorites especially on holidays and birthdays. Then you can see some shopping over here. Grand Hyatt is over to the right. And then some more shopping centers. Another restaurant right there. Looks like it's called Alma's or Chick-fil-A. Over here on the right. And then there's a room to go. So yeah, we're just gonna ride and just ride through Buckhead so that you can see what it looks like and kind of get a feel um, for what this area is like. Shops of Buckhead. Is that this here? Okay, so this is Shops of Buckhead. There's the real, real. Love that. Dior. Um, some more restaurants here. Let's see. So these are going to be a lot of your luxury stores. So if you're a luxury shopper, um, as you can see, that's Buckhead Avenue. Then you're probably going to enjoy shopping down here at the Shops of Buckhead. It's called is that Buckhead Villas now? Yeah, okay. The area is Buckhead Village. Oh, okay. Oh look at that's a nice restaurant. You can see people sitting up there eating. Oh Gypsy Kitchen. Gypsy Kitchen. Alright, so I'm gonna try to get some of these shops for you guys. So you can see what shopping would be like down here. Babe. Better view with the window down. So there's Jimmy Choo over here. And across from Jimmy Choo is going to be Hermes. Everybody likes a good Hermes bag. Dior is down here. And let's see what we have. Pink Artana. I'm not familiar with that store. Let's see. There's some art down here as well. Another restaurant. I'm trying to show you both sides here. A little Irish pub on this side. So you can shop and then go get something to eat. Got another little eating spot right here. A lot of people just chilling, walking around. Nice little location to chill. This is the part of the shops at Buckhead right there. And it's other sides of it, like it's not just that one side. Okay. It's just, it's just crowded today, so we can't drive down. Can't there. get over there. 
What's that with the big fish coming out? Atlanta Fish Market. Atlanta Fish Market. It's some, uh, it's been some restaurant. Oh. So if you want some, what, seafood, you would say? Yeah, Mainly it's all seafood. seafood. It's decent. It's not the best. It's okay. Decent. Here's the Atlanta Fish Market. He said it's decent. It's not like nothing to brag on, but yeah. you can get some fish there. And, and that's located and Buckhead, of course. All right. So we're just going to ride through some more of Buckhead for you all to see. Angela Ciencia. This is going into what, Midtown? Yeah, we're going into Midtown. Okay. All right, so guys, as you saw, we were riding through Buckhead. Um, you know, I hope y'all enjoyed the views. Yeah. We decided to come to the park so we could talk a little bit more about it, give y'all more context on what, um, excuse me, context on what you saw. Right. So, yeah, let's do it. All right. All right, so we're going to do a little bit more reviews on Buckhead. <laughs> yeah. So we took you through, riding through and everything. You saw the different um, views. So first thing we're gonna discuss is walkability. Yeah. What do you think about walkability? Walkability in Buckhead is, uh, I would give it a 10. I'm gonna be honest with you, cause Buckhead is dope. When you're talking about walkability, that's where I actually personally go running mm. at night. So that's where Can I go running. you know well? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's my spot. And so that's where I go running at. Sorry, so ants all over the place. Oh, uh, we in uh, we in Piedmont, so you know yeah. we out here in nature. With the park. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, walkability. I would give it a ten. What about mm -hmm. you? I would say walkability. I would give it a ten too because I used to work. I showed y'all that little minute clinic I used to work at, and I could walk like right across the street to Target. There was like a sushi restaurant behind it that I could walk to and eat. So um, I would go to the container store a lot. Yeah. Um, Dicks. Yep. Um, Publix, all of that was just right in walking distance. So, Absolutely. a 10. So, definitely a 10. Now, we're talking about the, I'm going to go with all the pros, right? Let's okay. do pros. Okay. So, the pros will be the eateries as well. Yep. So, we're talking about good food. Restaurants. Everywhere. Yeah. Like, this is our favorite sushi spot is over there. Mm -hmm. um, Nova? Is it Nova? Nova? Yeah. I think it's yeah. Nova Sushi. It's sushi. Is it Sushi Nova? Nova? Either way. It's on Buckhead. It's at Buckhead. Sushi, yeah. So, that is good. Um, of course, you know, with the, as far as the steaks is concerned, I'm sorry. Is, uh, <laughs> as far as the steaks is concerned, you got the roots, Chris. You got um, chopster, lock. <laughs> okay, all right. Hey, go ahead on, Michael. <laughs> This is what you find it's, in Atlanta. Hey man, like we don't make, we can't make this stuff. Like, Y'all are getting the, the real a, deal. <laughs> <laughs> this is the A man. This is what you get in Atlanta. Hey, but no, uh, what was we talking about? I don't even um, know. Foot restaurants. Food, yeah, eateries. So, of course, um, For pizza, steaks, you're pizza, steaks. oh, steaks. Okay, Ruth Chris. Ruth Chris, you got chops, lobster bar, amazing. And that was in Buckhead too. That was in Buckhead. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, you got um, Fogo de Chayo. 
Mm-hmm. Um, if you want to know about Chopped Lobster Bar, I'm going to put a plug in here. Yeah. I went there for my birthday, so you have to go to Moe's World to check out that video to see what Chopped Lobster Bar is. Yeah, but it's amazing, y'all. Mm -hmm. like, definitely check it out. Um, burgers. You got. I mean, everything is right there. You got... Um, What's my joint? I can't think of the name of it. Oh, um, Shake Shack. Shake Shack, right there on Peachtree. Mm -hmm. um, so listen, everything you want to eat is right there. Like Fellini's variety. There. Fellini's, my pizza True spot. Food. True Whole Foods. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah. Yeah, it depends. Now, healthy wise, right? That's where it is. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. If you want the healthy stuff, ginger shots, stuff like True that. Foods, yep. definitely. Um, and then if you just like not wanting necessarily like a high end mm -hmm. restaurant and you just want like in the mall food court, like yeah. so Lennox has a food court prior to COVID. I don't know. We haven't really been eating like that out, like in those types of settings, but prior to COVID, they had good food in the um, food court. Wouldn't you say, man? Definitely. Definitely. So they got a lot of good food in there. You got your regulars, you know, uh, your Chick-fil-A and stuff like that, right. but you got other play other things. Um, that have good uh, chicken tenders or other yeah, stuff like, like that. Yeah, like the farmer's place. Yeah, farmer's market. Asian, that's the name, farmer's, farmer's market. market. Yeah. Asian something. Yep. Yeah. Yep, all of that. So it's all good. So so those are those are the pros. Yeah. Is there any other pros I'm, I'm missing? Um, uh, walkability, you got the food. Um, yeah. What else? They have some clubs. So if you're a club yeah. person, yeah. which, yeah. you know, we are not, but we're yeah. trying to be unbiased in this yeah. video just now. for anything you may be looking for. Your boy, in believe it or not, I know it's hard to believe, but I used to be a club. He used to be a club. I used to be a club, so, which is why I lived in Buckhead at that time. Right. Um, and that that whole area that we showed y'all, but the shops at Buckhead, those all used to be clubs, all of them. You got one lock hanging over here. Oh, sorry. So <laughs> those Fix all, your wife up. all your used wife. to be clubs, y'all, so. Oh, now I thought of another pro. Oh. Shopping. Of course. Shopping. So of course shopping, shopping is another pro. So if you are a, regardless whether you're a high-end shopper or a, um, like a budget-friendly shopper, then either one you can get on Buckhead. So like we showed you, you have your, um, what's the name of that mall? Fifth Plaza that has all your luxury stores. Yep. You also have your shops at Buckhead that has your luxury stores. But then you have Lennox Mall that's yep. going to have your regular stores like Zara. Ain't um, nothing regular about Lennox. They got Louis Vuitton. They got Fendi. Well, they, they do got... have those things too. <laughs> they got American Eagle. But they have American Eagle. Yeah, they yeah. have some like Zara. Yeah. You know, they have regular stores too. And I will say this too. They do not do sales. So oh, yeah. So somebody's posting a sale whether it's Foot Locker, American Eagle, whoever. Buckhead, I mean, Lennox does not do sales. They also, do we found this out. And it's going to be on your right again. So, also, we found out that, yeah. We found out that um, the sales tax is more expensive than Buckhead. Yes, very much. Remember, you purchased something in mm -hmm. Buckhead and you took it back somewhere else. And yeah. they gave you more money because you pay more for it in Buckhead. Yeah, yeah. So, if you want Buckhead. You're um, going to pay for it. You're going to pay for it, for real. All right. So, we're talking about the cons. Yeah, right? the cons of Buckhead. You might hear the cons in the background. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But nah, um, I would say the cons of Buckhead is, um, at this point, crime. Crime, yeah. Um, now, being somewhere I used to live where it was almost, I wouldn't say unheard of, but if you know, if a, if a crime happened in Buckhead, it happened because somebody from the outside came in and, you know, started something just because. It wasn't usually the people that it lived It wasn't the residents, yeah. Right, the residents. You never had to worry about that. So. But what we are seeing now, it's a lot of a lot more crime in Buckhead, and it's happening in the apartment complexes where people are living there and breaking in to each yeah. other's homes and shootings, like robbery. shootings in, in Lennox Mall and stuff oh, like that. So that's been a big thing. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. How many shootings? I know it's been at least what two or three. No, it's been more than four that. Or five. Um, wow. Matter of fact, just what happened, happened yesterday. What happened yesterday? Um, this they, uh, this person tried to rob somebody in the Lennox Mall parking lot um, in broad daylight. Person took off running. They threw their wallet and took off running, and they started shooting anyway. So even though they threw their wallet, yeah, so it is what it is. Wow. They wanted to smoke. Wow. But that's that's one of the cons. Yeah. Um, that's a major con, honestly. That's a major because con. Because I don't care what. Amenities you have around you, how much mm -hmm. good food you want to be safe. Yeah, you know if you saying? don't feel safe. Yeah, and whether you be a single guy, single lady, 
or your family. You want to yeah. be safe. You know what I'm saying? Especially so, if you have children. So that's a major con. I don't yeah. think I would ever live in Buckhead again. No. Which brings us also to the next con because um, you definitely don't want to have high crime in an area that you pay so much money for. So the cost of living, cost of living. is insane. The rent and to buy. Yeah, I would, I would definitely say that. Um, mm -hmm. Cost of living is wow. Um, so I would say Buckhead is probably one of the most expensive areas in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say the very most, but right. it's up there. It's up there. Um, and But Buckhead has been expensive for the longest amount of time. Too. Yeah, that's nothing new. Yeah, it's nothing new. So, But it used to be that you're getting what you pay for. So exactly. You live exactly. in an expensive area, but yeah. it's safe and yeah. you don't have to worry about anything. Yeah. But now, if you're paying that amount of money, but you still have to worry about your safety or the yeah, safety of your family. It's not worth it. That's like a big con now. Yeah, it is. It is. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so we dealt with that. We dealt with, we're still on the cons. I'm trying to think of if there are any more cons. Um, mm -hmm. I would say traffic. Traffic, We yes. everybody knows Atlanta has bad traffic. But we're also talking about now traffic on one particular street, which is Peachtree, which is everybody... Buckhead is popular. Yeah. So, like, when there's any events, and there's a lot of events in Atlanta. So, you got the BET uh, Festival. You got Atlanta has a festival every weekend during the summer. Right. Um, and it's always in uh, Piedmont Park where we are now, which is not Buckhead, but it's in the middle. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. uh, so that's, that's the thing about that. So, you got a lot of traffic, too. And you um, saw the traffic today. Huh? You saw the traffic today, and it's a weekend. Yeah. So... I used to work in Buckhead. I used to work, I think, two miles from where we were living. Yeah, two and a half. Two and a half miles. And it would take me anyway from 30 minutes to 55, 45 minutes to go two to three miles in Buckhead during the, during the work week. I'm laughing at dude behind us. Do you us. hear that? Because he was not saying a word until we got no. here and started recording. He was like, oh, we live? Say less. This, so, yeah. yeah. So this is Atlanta. Do you hear that? <laughs> yeah. This is Atlanta. It goes down in Amen. But listen, I will say this. There's no place like it. I will say that. You I will say that. So, yeah. Um, so, we dealt with that. Uh, yeah. Was that the last con? I don't know. Um, That's all I can traffic. think of. Traffic, cost oh, of living, crime. I know. People. I will say this. A lot of people in that area, because they feel like they're <laughs> snooty or better. Yeah. Can they're, be a not, bit they're not the nicest. You know what I'm saying? So... Um, there's other areas of Atlanta that are much nicer. You know what I'm saying? Even some hood areas that are much nicer. So, you know. That's um, true. Yeah. Because when I was working at the Minute Clinic in Buckhead, I would have people come in and they would, like, want to skip the line or, you know, want to have special treatment. They were like, do you not know who I am? I'm the CEO of da 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 You know, right. it doesn't blah, matter. blah, blah. It doesn't matter. You you have to wait just like yeah, the next person. Exactly. You got to so. be able to value people, man. I don't care where you live. You got to value people. So... In the, in the bucket area, you do have a lot of that. Entitlement? Very, very much so. Yeah. Very much so. So, yeah. Um, I don't know. I think that's about it. I think so. For me. Um, but, yo, it's an area that's close to Buckhead that we're going to take you to. I think you're going to like, too. They don't, I wouldn't say giving them their own video, but because it's so close to Buckhead, uh -huh. this is a preferred area, like, an area where we live at right before we oh, move. So, yeah. you're going to love it, trust me. Yeah. Thank you.